political analyst Ayodele Adewale joins me now on the news and we're going to be talking about the elections in Oshun State. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. All right, let's uh, look at the situation. You were here on Saturday. Yeah, I was. Uh, analysis on the elections and all. Uh, you saw the process as brought to us, by, brought to uh, the viewers by our correspondent on the ground. And the, on Sunday, the results were announced, and you heard it, 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 it got into a rerun. What did you make of this? Well, uh, critically, the people of Washington State have spoken, and uh, the process is being studied, and a lot of things are, are being looked into by the party. Uh, regardless of that, INEC itself had I'd work very well, incredibly well, but like I've always said, there's room for improvement. And uh, since we're going for a rerun, it means that all parties must have to buckle up and work assiduously. And their pedigree will count for them. Their pedigree will count for them. I'm very, very optimistic and very sure that the pedigree of the APC will put them above board. Okay, let's talk about the umpire, INEC. You just mentioned there's room for improvement. Yes. What more can INEC do to improve on this? Well, well, in terms of in terms of speeding up speeding up the process of, of, of registration, I think this will allow a lot of people to partake in the elections. And in terms of voter education, because a lot of voided votes were, were recorded, a lot of voided votes that are very scary. So it means a lot of voter education must be carried out amongst the people and uh, to also making sure that uh, security is improved on. Uh, we heard the story where an INEC official actually absconded and all of that. That means they have fit columnists within their, their ranks and file. Uh, such thing must be discouraged and uh, their ranks and file must be told that they are up doing, carrying out a national assignment for the country. Okay, looking at this, like the uh, accusations and counter accusations by uh, the political parties on ground. Uh, how can, uh, what do you make of all of this situation? How can political parties ensure that we don't have this kind of situations again? And how can INEC ensure that all of these accusations are brought to bear and make sure that the next elections coming is better than this? Well, I would appreciate if you give uh, an example of such accusations uh, because I wouldn't understand very well, clearly. Well, the PDP coming up to say, uh, to, to, to warn that the, uh, the elections were conclusive and that it won the elections. I, it seems the PDP have not read the INEC guidelines very well and it's very appalling and very shameful if they come up with such accusation. Of course, the umpire read out the guidelines, the laws, that, that, that gives them the power to, to proclaim winner or to decide whether the election was conclusive or inconclusive, as the case may be. He has not worked out of the law that, 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 that is stipulated for any umpire to, to use as a guiding principle. So I think they have to go back to the books and read very well. And if they cannot, if they cannot understand the dictum mm -hmm. of the INEC rule, then they are not fit to serve. For the APC, they are working very hard. They've come out to say that INEC have, have actually performed and they have gone back to the drawing board to actually dot the I's and cross the T's. And uh, we are very optimistic, very optimistic, very hopeful and we are very assured that the people of, of Oshun State will vote for, for Mr. Oyetola Boega and he will become the governor of Oshun State. Okay, now we have, we, we, it has gone into a rerun. Yes. I think so it's going to happen uh, on Thursday. There's going to be a rerun for the elections. Yes. What does this mean for the polity? It means that our polity is getting robust. It means that the Buari administration have not tinker. I've, I've, I've not stereotyped the processes of INEC, unlike what we used to see in the Obasanjo-led administration and in the uh, Jonathan-led administration, where INEC would just come up with any figure and tell you to, 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 to go to the tribunal and defend yourself. So it means that INEC have been given full autonomy and full freedom to operate within their whims and caprices. If not so, I think the pendulum should have swung the other way. Okay, so you believe um, with this situation now, uh, we don't expect anyone to go to, to the courts? With this situation, it's very transparent, it's very free, very clear. Anybody can go to court. Anybody can go to court if they feel they're dissatisfied. It is left for them to prove their case in court. But as the case is, INEC is very, very, very free. INEC is very independent to the okay. extent that they come out with credible results that it is satisfactory by all. And uh, we have gone back to the drawing board to make sure that we, 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 we block... Okay, all for the final the question, decades. what can political parties learn from this situation? 
Well, the political party should learn that um, we need to work harder to convince our people on the need to cast their votes. And we also need to expose a lot of people who intend to carry out their operation through vote buying and all of that. We need to educate our people more that when you sell your vote, you sell your destiny. But when you are seeing people who have performed credibly well, you need to encourage them by All voting right. them back into office. All right. Thank you very much, Adewale, for talking to us on this matter. Thank you for having me.